more adventures. All right, I'm here with the C2 Staccato, and I do owe apology to Staccato because it was not fair. The last video I did, I thought that it was faulty quality control, uh, but it was not. So I assumed, and I made an ass out of myself and Staccato because I know they really care about what Chuk thinks. But no, I would like to point out I am an independent YouTube channel. Nobody pays me, nobody owns me except for Olight, and I call it how I see it. So uh, the problem was, and I didn't realize it, that my buddy Tim had installed this optic, this Trigicon, and he used the wrong screws, they went down too far, they messed with the hammer spring. And it was totally his fault, he did not realize it, so uh, the gun was functional out of the box. That being said, 1911s, 2011s are known to be finicky. Staccatos are known to have problems out of the box. So, but I, would I choose this over a Glock 19? Absolutely. These things are incredible. So let's just see how it shoots. I got a couple mags and I'm gonna see if I can redeem the C2 Staccato and uh, see how it feels shooting too. Pretty impressive. Shoots nice. I like it. All right, another mag. 20 rounds this time. I could not get it to jam. Uh, I am impressed. The recoil was negligible. Very impressed. Um, do need to sight in this red dot, but man, would I recommend a staccato? <laughs> Absolutely I would. This C2 would be a great carry. I would carry this every day. Um, I think you could trust your life with it as long as you shoot it, make sure it's reliable, make sure the mags are good. Um, absolutely worth every penny. I would not buy that crummy Springfield Prodigy that's had tons of problems. I would just pay 300 extra bucks and get yourself a staccato. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's the best 2011 on the market and I would absolutely get one. So the staccato is redeemed. Shoot out adventures! Why don't you almost die every time?